Here we're going to derive the F distribution and it, it can be shown to be the ratio or weighted ratio of two chi squares. So the, the numerator chi square would be R1 degrees of freedom, the denominator Y uh, would be chi square R2, X and Y independent, the chi square densities of X and Y. And we set up a uh, mapping from X and Y to F and Z and ultimately we want this so it's the a chi square divided by its degrees of freedom divided by a chi square divided by the degrees of freedom and then we'll find the joint density of F and Z and then integrate out Z the Jacobian of this transformation can be shown to be this ends up R1 divided by R2 times Z so then the joint density of F and Z is this equation here and it, this is the product because X and Y are independent but now we plug in this X for this X and this Y for this Y into these equations and we get this and so wherever there was an X above we put this X so here and then we do the same thing wherever there was a Y in this formula we put in Z and then we take it times the Jacobian R1 over R2 times Z then we can collect like terms simplify it and here what I do is I put all the non Z's over here and anything with the Z over here because we're getting ready to integrate out Z to leave uh, the F density of F so this is what we're going to do integrate out Z which is this and we're going from 0 to 1 uh, here I just take this piece and take it to the denominator that's what this is and then whenever you have some you know z to the something minus one minus z over something that's a gamma distribution and we know what that integrates to which integrates to this so over here just comes down and then this integrates to gamma of r plus R1 plus R2 over 2 and then this is the beta so now to simplify this we uh, notice that this 2 is raised to the R1 plus R2 over 2 and then this is the same so those 2's will cancel so when we simplify everything just comes down this F I bring out to the front this uh, comes over and then this I, I since that's a negative I, I just take it to the denominator and this is the density of an F distribution with R1 numerator degrees of freedom and R2 denominator degrees of freedom hope you enjoyed it